In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I easily calculate the number of timber pieces I need for a roof. This method is very easy and I hope by the end of this video, you will know everything about timber estimation for roofing. It's really hard thing to either do overestimation or underestimation when budgeting for your project. It will be really hard in your pockets and right now, I'm going to share with you an easy trick when estimating that will save your money and time in just 10 easy steps. The first step is to find out how many roof trusses we need for a building. For example, for this gable roof, we may need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 roof trusses. Step number 2 is to measure the total length for the, a single roof truss. For example, if this is our roof truss, we add up all the members in this roof truss we get its total length. Let's say we get 10 meters as the total length for a single roof truss. We multiply those 10 meters by our 6 trusses to get 60 meters. The third step which is the last step is to get the total length divided by the length of a single piece of timber. For example, if our piece of timber is 3 meters, we get 60 meters divided by 3 meters which will give us 20 pieces of timber. Let's take a look at an example of a gable roof of length 12 meters and width 6.97 meters. To get the number of trusses we need here, we get 12 meters divided by the spacing then plus 1. The spacing here we are considering 0.6 meters because the industry standard for roof joist or rafter spacing should be of maximum 0.6 meters or 24 inches or 600 millimeters. Total number of trusses here will be 12 meters divided by 0.6 meters which will give us 20 plus 1 to get 21 trusses. Now let's find the total length for a single roof truss and for this case our roof truss is of how style. The span here is 6 meter 970 from grid line 1 to grid line 4. Pitch angle is usually given in the structure drawing or is usually detailed by the structure in general but for cases where the pitch angle is not specified we get the span and we divide by 4 to get the safe rise which gives safe pitch angle. The answer you get is the right but for our case here the pitch angle is specified in the drawing as 22.5 degrees. When we reach this stage we need three things. One the span which we have as 6.97 meters, the pitch angle which we have as 22.5 degrees and the height of the king post or the rise. We get the rise or height of the king post by dividing the roof truss into two and then we extract half of it and treat it as a triangle. So when we extract half of it, this will be 3.485 meters on the adjacent and 22.5 degrees angle and what we need is the height. So this is the adjacent, this one opposite of the angle and this one as hypotenuse. And for this case, we will use tan of the angle, which is opposite of adjacent. And after calculation, we will get height of the king post or height of the triangle as 1.444 meters. After getting these three values, the pitch angle, the rise, and the span, we simply come to this website called Price Analysis. Choose the truss type, enter the truss span, enter the truss height, enter the number of web bays and for this case we have one, two, three web bays on each side. Tap on calculate forces, it gives you the length for each truss member. Add all these members on your calculator, the total will be the length for your truss. After adding all these members from 0 to member 28, you get the total length for the whole truss as 22.995 meters. Then let's add the overhang this side and this side. The overhang is 0.6 meters 
in the drawing. So when we add these two overhangs, we will get 1.2 meters. When we add 1.2 meters to 22.995, we get 24.195 meters. That's the total length for the whole roof truss, including the overhang both sides. Multiply the total length for one truss by 21 trusses, we get 508.1 meters. That's the total length for the 21 trusses. Add 15% allowance for cuts because the timber is cut to be joined up. So when we add up 15% to the 508.1 meters, we get 584.31891 meters. Add ridge board length of 13.2 meters. This is the ridge board. We get the length of the ridge board by adding length of the building plus the overhang both sides. This will be 12 meters plus 1.2 meters making it 13.2 remember we are making a double ridge board so we get 13.2 multiplied by 2 which will give us 26.4 meters the next step is to add the length for the wall plate which is the perimeter of the structure adding the perimeter adding both all sides will give us 37.94 meters and then when we add these three Total length for all trusses, total length for the perimeter or the wall plate, and total length for the ridge board, it will give us 648.65891 meters. Considering each piece of timber to be 3 meters, we get 648.65891 divided by 3, which will give us 217 pieces of timber. In summary, we know that when calculating the number of pieces of timber we need to roof, we get the total length for all trusses, we add the length for the wall plate, we add the length for the ridge board, and then divide by the length for a single piece of timber. Remember to treat timber against termites before roofing, we made a video about this. The video is on the channel page, subscribe to watch a full video about timber treatment against termites before roofing. That's the end of our today's video, subscribe to get a weekly video about construction. Thank you so much for watching.